School is back in session and after a year plus of at home learning, we may need to be reminded that lots of school buses are on the road and there are laws concerning school bus safety. Here with a refresher about sharing the road with school buses is TxDOT's Jennifer Wright. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. If you think passing a school bus is just fine, you're right. Up to a $1,250 fine. But seriously, when is it okay to pass a school bus? It can be confusing and doing the wrong thing can be very expensive or worse. We can help demystify when you have to stop and when you don't. When a school bus is stopped with its stop sign extended and or has its lights flashing, all drivers must stop in all lanes in both traveling directions. Even if you do not see children getting on or off the bus, it is still illegal to pass the bus. This is true for a two-lane road, a four-lane road, or even a road with a center turn lane. The exception is a road with a raised median or barrier. Then drivers on the opposite side of the road from the bus do not have to stop, but should still watch out for children crossing. Here are more tips for you. Always remain alert for children around school buses, and remember they may not always look for vehicles before crossing the street. Follow school buses at a safe distance, keeping in mind they make frequent stops. Stop for flashing red lights or the bus stop sign, regardless of which direction you are headed, unless, as we showed you on that excellent animation, you are on the opposite side of a divided highway. Once the bus is moved, the lights stop flashing, the stop sign is retracted, or the bus driver signals you it's okay to pass, you can continue on your trip. Remember, violations can lead to a fine of up to $1,250 for the first offense. And you know, Jennifer, that's a pretty expensive lesson to remember that we've got to watch out for our kids. Now, what's happening in traffic next week? They have started putting down the final lift of asphalt pavement on Mesa Street in the northbound lanes. So watch out for this slow moving convoy and expect traffic down to one lane where they're working during daytime hours, including Saturday. Meanwhile, Diamond grinding continues on the southbound lanes. Another area of Mesa will become a work zone from Cincinnati to Kirby as it is next in line for pedestrian improvements, adding medians and flashing beacons for pedestrian crossings. Expect traffic to be down to one lane through there for several months. Other closures of note, I-10 Connect will close I-110 southbound into Juarez overnight next week, Monday and Tuesday, and on Wednesday they'll close I-10 west at Geronimo overnight, sending all traffic onto the gateway until Reynolds. Maintenance will close the cotton exit off westbound I-10 for cleaning starting at 9 a.m. Monday through Friday or until they finish. I-10 eastbound downtown exit ramp and Porfirio Diaz on-ramp will close at 9 a.m. Thursday for guardrail repair. Bridge maintenance will happen overnight on Cesar Chavez Border Highway, various locations, alternating lane closures only. Barrier repair will close left lanes on I-10 West at Airway and I-10 East at Paisano Monday through Friday, 9 a.m., so watch out for that. All right, and Jennifer, the pedestrian project that's going on over here on the west side there at Cincinnati, can you talk a little bit more about what's going to be involved with that? Well, they're adding some pedestrian railing that will help channelize where people cross the street. District, where people are always having fun and maybe not being so careful. So this will help add more robust crossing so that the traffic will be able to see people crossing and people will know that there are specific places that are safer to cross. Jennifer Wright with TxDOT, I thank you and as always we'll see you next week. Thank you Mark.